What's good guys, my name is Nazri from elementaryfx.com and welcome to my trading journal. Um, it's a new month, uh, it's May and um, I just took my first few trades of the month on the pound dollar and in this video I'll be going through with you the two different trades that I took on this pair and I'll try my best to go through it with you um, candle by candle and step by step. So as you can see this is the pound dollar in a 15 minute chart and I've drawn out a pattern for you. This is what we call a cipher pattern. And um, when price was around here, I identified the potential pattern right here. And I had my sell limit around here, around the 29.17. And as you can see, price pushed up into uh, that 7.86 um, completion level of the cipher pattern right here. This blue line, uh, therefore filling my order before making its way downwards. And at this point, I thought, you know, this could potentially be a, a decent trade because uh, price was reacting very nicely to, to the cipher pattern. Uh, but as you can see, price uh, pushed up, um, forming a double top right here. You can see that we have the first top and the second top. And I thought to myself, this could potentially be just a minor retracement back up. As you can see, we have a double top. However, RSI is making low highs, suggesting that there could be potential weakness in the trend. So I just um, slapped it off and I thought that maybe, you know what, this could, um, this could potentially turn around towards, uh, in my favor. So as you can see, price didn't do that. It just uh, continued its way down before making its way up and at this point right here i um, decided to close my order because price was uh, reaching this high the, the highs of the the x leg right here and i thought to myself you know what this could this um i i figured this was a losing trade so i just uh closed my order for a loss of about um let's see how much did i lose i lost about 19 pips in this trade however um, upon looking at this, upon reviewing this trade, I was looking at the chart again and I could see that there was a bigger pattern that was forming on the same chart. And we have another potential cipher pattern, a bigger cipher pattern in this form right here. Let me just draw it for you on another chart. So this is the same chart as previously. Um, this was uh, the smaller cipher pattern, which is this one right here. However, there was a bigger pattern in play. As you can see, we have our... Let me just... Um, get rid of my magnet we have our x to a a to b b to c and our cd completion coming around the 786 let me just check it out where's the 786 retracement yep it's around here so as you can see i got my order got filled i had my sell limit um 20, 29434 so let me just draw it out for you 29434 So as you can see, I had my um, my sell limit right here. My targets were all the way back down uh, at the C leg right here, back at structure. And as you can see, price reacted very nicely to this uh, larger cipher pattern. Um, it just um, rolled over for about for about 58 pips. So at one point in time, I was about 50 pip, 58 pips up. So um, at the 129.68, I uh. I took out half of my orders, so let me just draw a line for you, 29068. At this point, at this point right here, I took up, I took out half of my position, uh, so more or less it was a risk-free trade, and I just uh, let it run and I wanted to see where it went. Uh, I had my stop set to break even, and I eventually moved my stops to 2913. So if I were to draw a line for you, 2913. So as you can see, price pushed down all the way up to the 58 pips around here before making a very big push up and stopped me out right here. So in in total for this trade, I made about I made about um 36 pips and an additional an additional 30 pips. So that would give me about 66 pips, considering that um. 66 pips for this trade, uh, half position and another half position, and I, I had another 19 pips loss. So 66 minus 19 would give me about 47 pips. So in total, I took two different trades. I had a losing cipher pattern right here. Let me just draw it out in a different color for you. Let's make this um blue. And we had uh, the purple cipher pattern right here, which was a losing trade. Um, no, this is the wrong pattern. Let me just draw it out for you again. Mm, XTA, 
A to B, B to C, C to D around here. Yep. So this was the losing pattern. This uh, I got stopped out. I I closed my order for, order for about 19 pips loss, and uh, for the other for the bigger cipher pattern, I um, got stopped out for a total of 66 pips. So this was a 47 pip winner in total considering this loss. Um, by reviewing this trade, I can see that possibly I could have entered the bigger cipher pattern instead of entering the smaller cipher pattern. I guess I was in a in a rush to enter this pattern that I didn't notice that there was a bigger pattern uh, that was uh, forming. So this is something that I could potentially improve in the future. Um, besides that, I don't think, uh, I think my money management was uh, pretty decent in this. I took out half of my position. Um, I took out half of my position here and moved my stops all the way up. So in total, I made about 66 pips for this. So yep, this has been the Trading Journal here at Elementary FX. I want to thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.